Welcome to Samstag Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today we're going to continue my let's play of Help Will Come Tomorrow. And we've got full actions on everybody and we've got clear skies. So you know what that means? Expeditions all day, every day. But I'm going to start with the food. So we're going to tell, we're going to tell me and Arcus to roast the animal, the hare. Me and Arcus, let's do it. Good. Then, instead of straight up eating it, I would like to use something like a cooked food about it, maybe jujus. See if we could make it sort of last a bit more. If I were to use three of these and make it a stew, could I get more than three stew? Maybe give me like four food or something like that? Oh, I didn't mean to use that on my cell phone to use um, two juice, but too late. Yeah, it gives me four stutes. That's actually quite good. So let's use that on whoever we can. Look, Samex is the only one left hungry. That's okay. We can give him... Got some beans, I think. Let's just give him that. Yeah, he's not hungry anymore. Now we're going to have to make some water soon. But I'll let... The, I'm going to let... You know what, I'm gonna grab Juju's and Arcus and think they're going on the expedition, the expedition together. So I'm gonna grab myself. I'll tell myself to fill the water so we can have enough water forever. Good. So we're gonna have everyone have a sip. Whoever's thirsty, I mean. At the moment is everyone. Who else is still thirsty? Only Sir Arcus. Good. Nobody's thirsty anymore. Juju still is still hungry. Let me give you one buck. Good. Good, 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 good. Everybody's fine now. So let's go on an expedition. We are going to grab... Going to grab Juju's and Arcus. And we'll give them a knife. And we'll see how it goes. We'll send them... Towards this animal first. What do we got? You go deeper into the set of forest black as a grave. Somewhere nearby a stream murmurs and an owl suits in the treetops. Ooh, ooh. Sneaking under the scratching bushes, you navigate more with your hearing than your eyesight, sight, and suddenly you hear the growling or barking rawr, rawr, as the furry wolverine low at the ground, trying to scare away from its prey a small mask deer. Start to throw a knife at it. Anchor the trust weapon clicked against the tree and the angry animal immediately leaps at you. In a struggle you can only see the swelling fur and scratching paws. Biting of the forest devil hurts terribly and forces you to run away. Not good. These wounds will not heal quickly. He did not get any wound because he already had a wound. Let's search the place anyway. He didn't find much stuff. I'm gonna move here towards this animal I think. We'll just try. Tracks in the snow suggest that a large lone predator moves around in the area. Yeah, let's try to track down the cat. Something large slipped past between the dense trees. The predator probably decided it's not worth meeting you and just ran away. It left a dead weasel on the snow. What a gift from Mother Nature. Ooh, we found nice. We found a weasel. Nice. Next, let's go to this. Let's search it. And find many good stuff. Let's go towards here, though. Seems like we could find a lot of sticks, which would be useful. So the way that I believe this works is that the Ross probability determines whether it will cost you an action or not. And if you get to zero action on all people, you lose, you get lost in the forest. Otherwise, you can go back home. What a surprise. You see a strange animal resembling a deer or a small doe at the nearby grove. The snow enters and its protruding arrows bring a heart to mind more than a proud deer. We had this already, so essentially we're just going to try to get close and see if we can catch it. Throw a knife at it. And it's our lucky day we got it. We'll search this place as well. We still got enough action points right now. Let's grab that. This is a safe place. Now let's go here. Should be still fine. That's just one action point though. Ooh, we found Meryl Root. Yeah, we definitely want the Meryl Root and the berries because they seem pretty good. So we'll get rid of the cones. I don't think we need those. And we'll use, we'll get the garlic. Garlic's really good. And yeah, let's grab that. 
can take the metal roots. We probably want those. We'll get rid of the moss and grab the metal roots instead. We can search this. The loss possibility is pretty low. Oh, we didn't find anything. All right, well, right now we don't have any more action, so we just got to go home now. All right, so we've got stuff. We've got stuff. So we could then turn this into some food later, but not right now. We're going to grab... I think we're going to try to upgrade. Is there anything I could upgrade? Doesn't really matter where. Just Could I upgrade this? Could I get this high cot? That's my question. This is two times four is eight. Three times three is nine. So this is actually a bit of a waste. So we just want to use the clay. Woodwise, we'll grab eight needles. And here we'll grab three of the woodlocks. We'll give them a hammer and we'll tell Robert and Xemex to do it. Okay, let's see if that goes well. And this is going to give us, I don't know what that gives us, we gotta check it. Oh, actually, Xemex managed to save some of the resources and we learned that he's a medic. The character knows about treatment and has a chance to recover AP from the care action. That's good. The high reduces fatigue and increases morale. That's good. So actions. So we should definitely let Xemex care for other people. Like for example, for me, because I have hypothermia or for Robert. But before we do this, is there anything else I'd like to do with them? Could I upgrade any other thing? Could I get game flying? No. Could I get this hardened table? Possibly. Yes. Solid hardened table. The hardened table unlocks the actions of producing simple weapons. Addition unlocks material breaking actions, allowing you to break wood and stone. And I could get bows, which is cool because I've got arrows. But alternatively, could I maybe upgrade the campfire instead? I really like these seeds. No, I can't do that anyway. So let me just check what else could I upgrade. This better cover. Can get that. Raised cot. Kind of get that either blankets not an option and with the palisade we could upgrade to marked paths not enough sticks for that advanced traps not enough sticks for that and palisade we could do palisade possibly no so the only thing we can do is actually the camp so let's do it so let's upgrade this with the hardened tables because we can we'll use four of these and three of these we'll give them a hammer and we'll tell xemex and robert to do it together and this is going to give us the breaking materials option we'll see how well how good it is for us we'll find out but it could be interesting finally we'll tell xemex to care for robert and other people because that will help us we learn that xemex is focused this character likes repetitive actions they increase the morale when performing the same action in a row that's good to know. So let's go here. We'll grab Xemex and we'll tell you to care. First of all, you need to care for me because I am freezing. So treat me, please. And hopefully it will keep, so actually it did, it keep it, his actions at two. So it didn't actually cost him to do anything. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to treat, oh yeah, we, you gotta treat a robber because he has a head wound. So let's try to treat Robert. Oh, it still didn't cost him any action points. That's really, really nice. So we we still have the head wound. He's still freezing. So let me just do it again. Let me let again Xemex treat Robert. Go. See if it helps with the, at least the freezing, if not the head wound. And it still keeps the action points up. He's still freezing though. Could I do any kind of like a wound dressing? Wound cleansing, but that's not going to help us too much. Compress for frostbite can do that. So we'll try it one more time. It should still help with the freezing. So we'll do it again. Come on, get rid of his... Yes, now we get rid of his freezing. He's shivering only. 
I am freezing and so is Juju. So we're gonna keep we're gonna keep doing this care thing while we can. So we'll do it on Juju's now. This time it actually cost us an action point. But hopefully Juju's is now not freezing anymore. Yeah, he's just shivering now. Oh, but um Xemex is now sick. So we're gonna let Xemex gather strength, sort of handle himself, so to speak. So he feels a bit better. Still sick, unfortunately. And exhausted. So we're gonna tell Xemex to rest with Robert. But before we do it, Robert has one more action left. So Robert should do something. You know what, Robert? Just make me water. No, it's not his favorite thing, but he'll do it anyways. And we're gonna tell Xemex and Robert to rest. Right? By the way, here we've got now weapons. So we can make bow, arrow, or harpoons and breaking materials. So we could split wood, sticks, and get sticks. Breaking branches into sticks make possible to better use them in construction. So we can essentially split them into multiple parts, which I think is like the good thing. Could we also fix things? Not yet, but we could make a bow. So, and considering that we've got arrows, it could be useful. I'm going to try to turn off the camp visibility. It's clear sky, so it's pretty warm. So hopefully it will help us to not get caught. So let's see. Oh, what's happening? Today's Siberian weather has been exceptionally kind. The clouds disappeared somewhere, icicles glistened in the sun. The trees were barely rustling in the rare gusts of wind. However, in the evening you sense dense, dark gray clouds in the northern sky. All the birds become quiet. In one moment, and unexpectedly get up from the trees to fly south. This is a bad sound. Looks like bad weather is coming at night. Is it boring coming from above the northern steeps? Borga is coming, and you would think it cannot be worse. We're talking about this cloud on the horizon. I just feel my bones aching. There will probably be a blizzard. Oh, this is not the usual blizzard. We experience a few of them here. A wind is coming from the north and they call it Buran. It accelerates ever the empty tundra and in the taiga. It crashes against trees and rages. No storm sto the snowstorm will last for several days. Oh, that's bad. Several days? Just perfect. What will we do? I don't think we can do anything more. Warren comes unexpected and the snowstorm literal divorce with the counters. The locals call it ominously Porga. And last, you need to lock yourself in the hut and curl up by the tiled stove. We don't have hot horse stove, so what will it devour us? There's no chance it will pass sideways? Oh, I'm just teasing. It will blow snow and end. Over the taiga, the wind does not care as well as over the steeps. Let's talk about hypochondriac. After so many days, scurvy symptoms should be noticeable. Sleepiness and muscle aches is very polluted now. Oh, stop with all the moaning, Xemex. You're such a hypochondriac. Symptoms of frost are more palpable. And before you feel the effects of scurvy, you'll be long gone from starvation. Well, yes, yes, that would be correct. You agree with me? No, no. I can see your nervousness and fatalism. This is exactly what happens with scurvy, just before effusions appear. <laughs> Are you a doctor, darn it? Uh, no, but I studied medicine for two years. You know Latin? It so happens that I know. As my uncle used to say, Medica cura to ipsum. This is a joke, and one is in very bad taste. This is no joke. With this knowledge, instead of feeling sorry for yourself, you should be helping us. Okay, is that gonna lower the morale? We'll see. No, it's fine. The night is coming to an end. The morning wind brings cold and moisture. In the distance, the deer roaring finally stopped. When you get up sleepy, as always, you find Alexa in an unusual position. He clears snow on all fours under the medical point. They must be here. They couldn't have gone. What's the matter, Xemex Rabinovich? Do you have a scurrier loose? Not this time. Help me look for St. John's Wort there. The woodman takes out the several stems with yellow flowers from under the wooden bed triumphantly. Hippericum perforatum. I found a dead bundle a few days ago, but I forgot to tell you. Fortunately, it laid in a warm and shady place, so the flowers did not begin to rot. And this time, Aviva will not plant it anymore, but I suggest making an infusion, an alcohol tincture. Tea will be great for colds, and in combination with vodka, it will chase away the melancholy. Alexei, in combination, Xemex, in a combination with vodka, everything chases the melancholy away. 
Oh, that's interesting. Do you have any articles on this topic? Only empirical research. <laughs> Says the man who can't get drunk, because Robert can't get drunk. Campfire is under snow. Palisade is under snow. Well, we're gonna... And we've got Porga, which is really bad. So we're gonna have to stay at home. So hope... Good thing we actually got a lot of food last time. So that should help us. Either way, good time to end the episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.